welcome back to the Nerdy Collector and today it's Wrestlemania Sunday. Now, I love wrestling. If you follow my channel, you notice I'm, I'm wearing a Randy Orton shirt right now as a recording of this video. And, um... I just like wrestling and I wanted to bring a quick wrestling, I wanted to bring a quick Wrestlemania prediction video your way as I will be staying up tonight to watch Wrestlemania. And I've got a friend coming over and everything so I'm really looking forward to it. I watch it every year, I've got the next day off of work because obviously it's up ridiculously late. So I'm just going to bring you my Wrestlemania predictions. So if you like wrestling guys, you're going to like this video. So match number one, I am predicting for the pre-show um, the cruiser, uh, Cruiserweight championship match from Mustafa Ali versus Cedric Alexander. Now, this will be a match that could possibly steal the pre-show and probably would be one of the best matches on the card, but it won't be given the respect it deserves. These two are great in the ring and they can probably do something fantastic together. But I am going to go with Cedric Alexander on this one to win that vacant Cruiserweight title. I just feel that it's his time and he is one of the best Cruiserweights in the WWE and I just really hope he does pull it out. Match number two of the pre-show, the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. Now, I am really having a tough decision trying to pick who I think is going to win this match. I'm really having trouble picking who I think is going to win this match. I'm going to go for Elias. Elias Samson is over as hell at the moment. I think he's in the match. And um, he, yeah, he's definitely in this match. And I think he's going to win the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal. Who wants to walk with Elias? Now we've got the Women's Battle Royal as well. And... That again, these battle royals are tough to call. They really, really are. But I'm going to go with Becky Lynch because I just think Becky needs a big win. She's one of the best wrestlers on the roster and I just really hope they give it to Becky. She deserves so much more. I know she's been women's champion before, but she just deserves to be women's champion now, to be honest. She's one of the best in the ring and I'm a huge fan of Becky Lynch. And I think Becky will win tonight. Right, then we've got Miz versus Finn Balor versus Seth Rollins for the Intercontinental Championship. Now, who I want to win is Finn Balor. Who I think will win is Seth Rollins. I think Seth will win just because he's the bigger name out of these three. I would like, to be fair, Seth is my least favourite out of these three guys. I would like to see Miz retain or have Finn Balor win. Miz has got the advantage being the champion in this match with the Miz Taraj at ringside. I'm not sure if the club will be at ringside with Balor, but... I'm going to put my money on Seth Rollins to win this one. Then we've got Alexa Bliss putting her Raw Women's Championship on the line against Nia Jax. Now, I would like to see Nia Jax win this match, and I think she will. I'm going to go with Nia as my prediction for this. I think it's her time. She's waited long enough. She should be Raw Women's Champion. I'm hoping Nia can pull this one out tonight, Sunday, at WrestleMania. Then we've got... Kurt Angle with Ronda Rousey versus Stephanie McMahon and Triple H. There's only one way to go, and if you're going the other way, you're going to be wrong. It's going to be Angle and Rousey. Rousey's going to get the win on this one. It's her debut in WWE. There's no way she's going to lose her debut match at WrestleMania. I think Rousey's definitely taken this one, and she's going to beat Stephanie McMahon, which is going to be fun to watch, I'm going to tell you that, with Kurt Angle as well. And Kurt Angle, Triple H will be kind of cool. So um, that's I'm looking forward to that match not going to be the best wrestling match on the card but it's definitely going to be an entertaining bout without doubt then we've got the usos versus the new day versus the bludgeon brothers for the smackdown tag team titles the usos looking to retain i would like the bludgeon brothers to win but I'm going to predict the Usos to retain. A, tag, a title needs to be retained, and I think the Usos are going to do it. They're extremely hot at the moment. They are really, really good. The Usos are fantastic. Their gimmick at the moment is really good as well, the day one-ish thing. And as they've been down since day one-ish, I'm going to go for the Usos. But in my heart, I want the Bludgeon Brothers to win because I'm a huge fan of Luke Harper, and I think Harper deserves more. And this, just the fact that Harper and Rowan are on the WrestleMania card is really good and it's justified for me because I think those two guys really do deserve it and they've been killing it recently and I would love to see them win the tag team titles but my official prediction is I'm going for Usos to retain. Then we've got Asuka versus Charlotte for the Smackdown Women's Championship. Now this is a match I've been waiting to see for a long time. I think it's going to be a really, really good bout. They're both fantastic. Probably two of the best women in wrestling at the moment but 
Asuka's undefeated, I'm going to go with Asuka to win. I can't see Charlotte defeating her at WrestleMania and beating her streak and then just retaining the title. I think that's just a massive anti-climax. And I think that Asuka's going to take the title here at WrestleMania. And then possibly Carmella could cash in. I wouldn't like, uh, I'm not sure if I'd like to see that at WrestleMania. Maybe on SmackDown or the following pay-per-view. But even if Carmella may attempt to cash in and then lose it. But... I still think Oscar's going over. And we've got the returning Daniel Bryan teaming up with Shane McMahon against Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. And if Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn lose, they're fired. They're gone from SmackDown for good. If they win, they get their jobs back. Um, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn are winning this. I really do believe that. I think Daniel Bryan's going to have an excellent performance. He's going to get the pop of the night when he comes out. But I think Zayn and Owens are going to go over here just so they get their jobs back. Because otherwise, where's this going? Unless they're going to Raw. Because they're not really firing Zayn and Owens. Let's be honest. Two of the best guys in the company. So I think Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens could get a big win here at WrestleMania. Possibly pinning Shane, I would I would imagine. Not Daniel Bryan. Because Daniel Bryan will be uh, the the... Crowd pop of the night for sure. But as much as I love Daniel Bryan, I'm so glad he's back. I think Owens and Zayn are taking this one. Then we got The Bar versus Braun Strowman and his mystery opponent. Now, I have no idea who this mystery opponent is. I am going to guess Rey Mysterio. I've heard rumours. I'm just going to throw it out there. But I think Braun Stro whoever Braun Strowman's teaming with, there's been too much buzz around it to lose. Braun's winning those tag team titles with his mystery partner against the bar, which is a shame because Sheamus and Cesaro are fantastic. But I think that's what's happening. Braun Strowman's winning the tag titles with his mystery partner. These are in no particular order, by the way, guys. This isn't how the match card. I'm just guessing the pre-show. I think that's the pre-show. And I'm just guessing the order of the matches as, as I go through. Next is Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar. Now, Brock and Roman, again. <laughs> uh, I hate Roman Reigns. I just can't get behind him. I know he's good in the ring. He's a solid worker. But he's just he's so boring. It's just not for me. He's going to win, without shadow of a doubt. If this main events, I won't be happy. Because the real main event is the winner of the Royal Rumble. So, And the Royal Rumble winner always gets screwed. Just ask Randy Orton last year. He will tweet you and tell you that he got screwed. I tell you that. And um, I hope that... Uh, I hope Brock Lesnar wins. But storyline-wise, it's not going to be, is it? It's going to be the big dog. Roman Reigns and he's going to win with a Superman punch and a spear and all the little kids are going to go wild and he'll probably get booed I hope he gets booed out of the arena and one day Vince McMahon will open his eyes and see that Roman Reigns sucks moving on to a match that I'm actually really looking forward to Randy Orton versus Bobby Roode versus Jinder Mahal versus Rusev for Orton's United States title. Now, Rusev adding to this match has made it more interesting for me. I'm a huge fan of Rusev. Rusev Day, him and English are killing it at the moment. They deserve more than they're getting as well. And I hope, I want Rusev to win tonight, but I don't reckon they're going to do that. I am going to predict... I'm going to predict Randy Orton to retain, which is a bold statement because it's such a hard choice in the Fatal 4-Way, but I think Randy Orton will retain. I like all four guys in this match. Not so much Randy Orton as much now, but I'm a huge fan of Bobby Roode, and I like Jinder Mahal and Rusev as well, and I hope English is a ringside because he deserves to be out there at WrestleMania as well. But heart of hearts, Rusev, in theory, Orton to retain the title. Then we've got the question mark match, Cena versus The Undertaker. Is it happening? As a recording of this video, no. But I'm going to do a prediction for it anyway. I think The Undertaker may be coming out in American bar Badass gimmick and Cena will win. I'm going to go for Cena to win because I just don't know if this match is going to happen. But if it does happen, it's super John Cena. He's going to take The Undertaker and he's going to beat him at WrestleMania. And last but not least, probably the wrestling match of the year possibly candidate. This is the one I've been... I just can't fathom how good this match is going to be. Shinsuke Nakamura versus the champion AJ Styles for the WWE title at WrestleMania. Hopefully, please, in the main event. I'm going to go with Shinsuke Nakamura to win the title... Just because I just think he will. I think Nakamura is his time. AJ is fantastic. He's a solid champion. But I think Nakamura is going to win this one. So guys, what do you think of my predictions? Let me know your WrestleMania predictions in the comments below if you're going to be watching it. Uh, and so guys, I hope you liked this video. I hope you like my WrestleMania predictions. I'm just doing these predictions as is WrestleMania. This won't be a reoccurring pay-per-view thing. Unless you want that. And I'll do it every single pay-per-view. Because I watch every pay-per-view. And I love wrestling. And um, like I said, comment, 
like this video, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell, that would be a massive help. Enter my competition, link in the description below, you can win a Chase Pog, and I'll see you next time guys, bye bye.